ask uh, uh, Amsali now to come, please. Amsali, come and share with us, please. So let's give her some encouragement as she comes. That's it. You have to go all the way down there and all the way back here <laughs> to get here. But um, good. Welcome, I'm Sally. That's it. I'd like to come over here. Right, now, it's good to see you here this evening. Now, Jesus has done something for you, yes. hasn't he? And again, it's in the area of healing, wasn't it? So what, um, what was actually wrong with you that you needed healing? Yeah, I, I used to have a knee problem, knee and uh, feet. My feet is, it was swollen. Right, so the knee problem, how long had you had it for? As it is since I have an accident, 2010. 2010, so we're looking at almost eight years ago. Yes. So you've been suffering from pain, was it? Pain, yeah, pain, and also it was tear on my knee. Tear? Yeah. Right, so something happened. Would you like just to explain? Yes, you explain to us what's happened. Just um, my name is Amsal, and I am an Ethiopian. I grew up attending Orthodox Church. I have attended Catholic and Anglican Church here in London. My friend Talma, who is also my neighbor, invite me to, to come ECC with her. I love to worship and end up attending every Sunday. I decided to attend the Sunday evening healing meeting as I suffer an injury at work. I had an MR scan which showed a tear in my left knee, then developed into swollen feet and several back pain. At, at that time, I went forward for prayer. Three people laid their hand on me and prayed in the name of Jesus Christ that pain would live. I noticed over the coming days that the pain had gradually decreased until I had been completely healed. Soon after... <laughs> thank you. Amen. Soon after this experience, I made the personal decision to follow Christ. I start reading the Bible and having time of worship in my home. During, the, during this moment, many scriptures about believers, baptism, began to start out me. I felt this was God speaking, tell me to get baptized. So one year later, I took the step for baptism. The steps to, for the baptism, sorry. I know I, I now have personal relationship with God and I worship and read Bible legally. I am a part of uh, the ECC Family Church. I thank God every, every day for giving me hope and purpose from my life. I know God has a great plan for me. Thank you. All right, that's wonderful. So before you go, there's a number of things there. The first thing is um, you discovered that Jesus Christ healed your physical body. Is that right? Yes. My emotion, even my emotion, all my body and my anger. So he healed you on the inside and he healed you on the outside? Outside, yes. Inside and outside. And that was after uh, suffering for nearly eight years in eight pain? Eight years, yes. And, and he healed you? He healed me, yeah. I can wear heel now. You can? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Well, he's a very um, concerned God. If you weren't able to wear heels before, he made sure that you could. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the second thing is you said that because of that healing, it helped you realize that Jesus is real and you p made a personal decision to accept him. Yes. Yes. He speak to me on the uh, Bible. So you discovered now that as you read the Bible, God was speaking to you through yeah. the word. Yes, it is. Yes. Every time. And you made a decision also to be baptized in water. It is, yes. I baptize in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that's right, a full baptism. In fact, we've got a baptismal service at the end of this month, the last Sunday, 28th of, uh, 29th of April. We've got a baptismal service here. A lot of people are getting baptized. So he's made a great difference in your life. It is, yes. So I'm close. You're close <laughs> to him. Very close, yes. Well, it, thank you so much for sharing that testimony and uh, for bringing glory to Jesus. Thank you. I'm sorry.